Hey guys, welcome to Homesteading Through Our Eyes. Today we're going to talk about today, or more specifically, what we do in any typical day. often get the question from people who choose to live kind of more mainstream life as far as going to work from a nine to five. Um, they often say, if I didn't go to work, I don't know what I would keep my belt myself busy with. Um, we've also ran into people who have retired and they say the same thing and a lot of them end up going back to work. Um, our entire day is filled. Often we're looking for more hours during the day. Today we're going to have you guys follow us around and check out what we do in a typical day. So some of our day consists of working on our Etsy stores. As you can see I'm burning a box for a customer. Memory box for a little baby, Noel. Memories on the front. Another chore we do every couple days is fill our bucket up with our sawdust that we used in our composting toilet. Only takes a minute, we're good to go for the next couple days. Every day that it's warm enough, which is pretty much every day now, we bring the seedlings out to the cold frames in the morning and then bring them back into the yurt at night. Right now we are preparing to clean our compostable toilet. Uh, this takes a little bit of time. It only needs to be done maybe once a month. What are you up to there? Planting a hanging basket full of lettuce and now watering it. Another typical part of our day, taking care of many different plants from making hanging baskets of lettuce to hanging baskets of morning glories. We have some sorrel back there. A little rose plant that didn't like our surroundings. Some geraniums. Some propagating fruit trees or nut trees. Um, this probably takes up a decent portion of the day. Every once in a while. An avocado tree. Berkey's getting low on water. There's nothing in our jug. So, time to do another one of the pretty much daily chores of going and pumping water and hauling it up. This, as I said, is part of the daily process. We go through a lot of water, especially in springtime when we're doing seedlings and watering a bunch and going through a bunch of water ourselves. Uh, we also have to lug and haul the water back up to the yurt uh, along the path. Uh, we walk this path maybe from five to ten times a day, depending, which also takes up a bit of time. The trail went from being covered in ice to being covered in mud. Therefore, we do this a lot as well. It is an early spring day. 
So this is also what we put a ton of time into and a lot of our days go to is preparing the garden from putting plastic on hoop houses to re-erecting trellises to clearing large trees that needed to be taken down to putting up a fence that fell down it's up there but as you can see it's on the ground no fence putting in a new fence working on the greenhouse and seedlings preparing the ground to be planted in by making frames and covering the ground with plastic so it heats up dethaws Yesterday we took that tree down, sorry, two days ago, the days kind of mend together. Um, yesterday we cleared all the big sticks out of it and had a fire in the garden, which we plan to use those ashes to spread around and mend the soil a little bit. We are waiting for our large compost pile to break down and unthaw. All that stuff there on top is just thrown on top. Everything under that is very broken down and we plan on having our largest compost contribution to the garden this year. One of the thir first one of the first things I did this morning was make advancements to our cold frames simply by attaching 8 inch lengths of 2x4 on the back of it so that it would catch the heavy sliding glass door and can be held up by a cross arm. We take care of our chickens, feeding them, watering them, and collecting eggs and doing any maintenance if necessary. Like earlier today, I had to put some diatinaceous earth on this girl. I found a few bugs on her, so gave her a quick dust bath. Food. Food takes up some of our time. We love our food, and we love the fact that we can make a nutritious meal instead of having to uh, worry about hurrying to make a meal. Uh, it does take some time. We do actually eat this uh, plethora twice a day. Um, we cut most of this up and slice it up thin. Uh, we have some uh, pepper and we have some beets, turnips, cucumbers, cabbage, lettuce, carrot, and onion. And we usually make a veggie sandwich out of this, sometimes with just a slice of bread lately. Uh, we used to just make a big salad and use a lot of lettuce and it takes time and at the end of the day sit down next to a nice hot fire that's also what we do during the day by the way tend to the fire when need be we didn't even get a chance to show you the hundred pounds of rocks that we pulled out of one of the garden beds under the hoop house from earlier in the video so a lot of pickaxing and shoveling these are only a few of the things that we do on a daily basis or on a weekly basis. Uh, every day brings new things, new chores, new projects, old projects to be finished up for sure. And the ball keeps rolling. So thanks for coming along and checking out a little bit of what we do on a daily basis. Um, please like and subscribe and share and comment and all that good stuff. And most of all, take care, have a good day, and we'll check you soon. Peace.